Howdy, I'm B. Let me welcome you to the Beer Snobs Radio Show. We are a bunch of friends who are not experts, but we know we like in beer. Our definition of a beer snob is someone who just won't drink craft beer. So sit back and listen to us blind review beers on the Beer Snobs Radio Show. Calling all beer snobs, how you guys doing tonight? I am B, and across the table from me is... Damon. Right to my right? Big Rob. And on my left? Professor. Hey, guys, you know what's really... <laughs> what the really fuck was that? <laughs> Whatever I fucking wanted to be. Hello, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, you got. You know what's really big right now is sessioned beers. People, if you don't know what a session beer is, the beer you drink all night long for whatever reason you want. Low what, alcohol. What beer do you... Well, if for, pussies Could is low be. alcohol, but... <laughs> You're just getting hair on your vag. You can handle your shit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what beer do you guys like to session? I'm curious. Uh, Big Rob. Well, as you guys all know, I don't drink the same beer night in, night out. I switch it up all the time. So, But the ones that I seem to go back to more than any are the uh, Kona Cocoa Brown, the uh, uh, Hangar 24 Orange Wheat, and the uh, Longboard Lager from Kona. The Cocoa Brown is really good because Cocoa Brown is a uh, seasonal beer, so you can only get it like three months out of the year. Yeah, I know, but when it's around, that's one that I often get. Is that a winter one? Yeah, it's winter. It is a winter one, huh? Usually by this time, you, you, you're getting the last dregs of the Cocoa Brown. We're right now in April, so. Uh, Damon, what do you session? Uh, usually there's two, uh, depending on my mood. Uh, no, wait, no, there used to be three, but I think I've counted out. I used to session Amber's. Um, depending on, on who makes it, I've tried several ambers and, but I kind of gave up on that. And now it's pretty much down to, uh, black ales, uh, preferably the Negra Modelo and, uh, oddly enough, um, <laughs> shock top. Really? <laughs> really? There's no, there, there's, there, that, every man. once in a while I get in a mood and I need something sweet and shock top usually satisfy that. Um, any, anything else I could think of maybe, um, a decent half, you know. I've 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 session uh, uh, Widmer, okay, and I've uh, enjoyed it. Uh, professor, what do you session? I'm I'm with you on the hefts, buddy. Right now, I got two. I'm on this German Hef beer kick right uh, now. Oh yeah, I got Paul Liner, German Hef, and I've got. I'm trying to say this right. It's Edinger, E D I N G E R. Edinger, Edinger. It's 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 super smooth to drink, and I can literally like from beginning to end. It's great, and because I have some from my sister's wedding. I've got a 24 case of Blue Moon that I'm working on. So that is officially a that, session beer that until is it's done. Yeah. So. <laughs> you know, guys, I, I love everybody's choices. But for me, I have so many varieties of beer. I don't really buy six packs anymore because we don't have a reason to buy them. Yeah. But if I have to session a beer, my current session beers are beers I got in Growlers. I mean, I, I usually go out to different breweries and buy a beer and a growler. And the problem with growlers is once you open it, you have to finish drinking it. So whenever <laughs> I get to that point where I want to try, try another beer from the brewery, wherever I picked, like the last one was uh, the Wix Freight Crane, which is a chocolate milk stout. It's really, really good. Uh, I will session the hell out of that. I will session whatever beer I can find it at a brewery. Right. I liked it. It was all right. It, it was good. It wasn't great. Their uh, uh, Black Knight was way better. I, I'm not a big guy. That's a dark IPA, wasn't it? No, no. That was their uh, dark stout. Uh, I, I still like the Freight Crane. Uh, but it, it's, it's good beer. And I think that's a good way for me to session. Where if I feel like that night's the, tonight's the night, I'm going to pick up the growler, what I'm going to pick up, and just drink it, whatever it is. And I have done a triple IPA session one time with the triple dude from uh, Claremont Craft Ales. But... Beer number one? Beer number one. One. Beer number one. Oh, like nice the smell. Head. Like the smell, too. Nice head. Nice head. Look nice at the and it's nice and cloudy, almost like brownish. Yeah. Oh, uh, Wait till you get the smell. And you're traveling smell through That's a an amber, isn't it? You're traveling through a forest. <laughs> exactly. A dark forest, but a forest. Oh, it's a forest. Uh, hopefully it's not Forrest Gump. Huh. Wow. Wow. That's good. A lot more bite than I expected. At the end, yeah, a lot of bite. Like yeah, smooth there's a taste. crazy aftertaste that is, on that. Wow. Yeah. That is like a well-blended IPA. Yeah. It's it's right sweet, smooth at the start, and then bam, it hits you on the back that end. Or it's just a really That's harsh amazing. pale. It's a really harsh pale. That's amazing. I don't think it's IPA. I don't no, get no I'm not getting citrus. No. I'm not getting pine. Then it's got to be a harsh pale. But it's a, uh, it could be a 
dark hop- pale. It's, it's very hoppy. It's the hop level that's really that's, yeah. yeah that's, it's a high hop level, but it doesn't really strike me as a pale either. You know what I'm worried about, guys? Yeah, it hit me. On, honestly, is that I've been drinking a lot of IPAs just so I get to the IBA. Get get start drinking a lot more to try them out to make sure I'm like not losing, losing my taste buds, but I think I just fucked them up because I don't taste the hops in this either. <laughs> oh God! I do. How, How can you, you not? Cold, maybe you got a cold or something. This one now. was stronger than the some some of the previous. I, I ones. know, but but I've been drinking IPA after IPA because I got friends who want to try craft beer. Like here, try this IPA. Here, try this IPA, and I think I fucking burned off my fucking taste buds from IPA overdose. Oh, fuck so your friends and drink you, this one. Let's be specific. You've burned out your taste buds from hops. Yeah. Heavy hops. No, oh, I'm sorry. That's sad. Don't, don't, I, I don't categorize that. it into IPA. No, no, no. I'm, I'm saying no seriously. I, I feel bad for you, man. Yeah. See, people, this is learn from my lesson. Don't just overdose on IPA. Don't, yes, West, don't, don't drink IPAs. Don't no. Don't I, West. Oh. Don't West Coast yourself. Yes. But that's the best way. Which I apparently, get is always balls out with the IPAs. An excellent <laughs> term, D. I, you know what? But now, it's a good beer still. It's a good beer. It's got. A, it's also a sweet finish besides the hoppiness. And it is warming as it goes down to it. Back to that warming feeling. So I'm going back to a, a lager or a red. Nah, not a red. Hmm. Too much head for a red. But lager? Uh, are you no, smoking? No. no, it's not an IPA. No. If it's, if it's, sure an it's IPA, not a red? If it's an IPA, it's weak. Could it be, oh, no. could it be a hopped up red? A uh, hopped it up red? Be. It's possible. Yeah, I'm, I'm going with More the More uh, amber, maybe. I, I, just think, no, I just think it's a really strong no. pale. Yeah. Uh, really strong pale with some, with some decent flavor. I'll go flavors. with red. You're going with amber. And you're going with uh, a strong pale, a okay. strong pale because it's not. If it's, a, if it's an IPA, it's weak as fuck. Are you guys ready? I'm yeah. ready. This is Ritual Brewing Company's Extra Red Ale. Red. Now, here, here, let me give you a little history lesson about Ritual Brewing. Extra red. So let me guess. That means extra hops. Probably. We'll read that. But let me tell you about <laughs> Ritual Brewing. Ritual Brewing started uh, about two years ago now. Uh, what it was was two guys that were actually the head brewers from BJ's got a cash infusion to make their own beer. BJ's being BJ's Pizza Company, the the uh, brewery pizza place. Yeah. They were actually doing the brewery stuff for there. But at, well, here's the cool thing about that: some of the mo- some of the brewers that start off at BJ's that start their own breweries already in Southern California, which is Noble Ale Works, Ritual. Uh, what's another one? Beachwood Brewing, I think, is one of the guys. And they all left BJ's to make their own brewery. Ritual's the one we have in the Inland Empire. And it's actually in Redlands, California, right next to Donkey, Don- Wild Donkey currently. And uh, they make really good beer. Their Hellion's amazing, but we, we it's cool for us to have people who've been doing beer forever. Remember, right, the guy's name is Ed Hehouse, and I can't remember the other guy. Uh, I interviewed him before. And you said they make a good Hellas? They make a re- their, their Hellion's really good. Uh, they're, they're more about the uh, Belgian-style ales. They're really cool guys to sit down and talk to. If you guys are going to Ritual, stop by, have a good time. All their tables are uh, old pool, la- old bowling lanes. It's a real nice place to stop by and get a beer. But back to the reveal. We tend to do little things a little differently at Ritual. So when the call came to make a new style of Red Ale, we immediately deferred to the full flavor segment of the taste spectrum. We certainly didn't skip on the malts. After all, we used eight different varieties, giving this beer a multi-layered complex caramel co- toffee. Balancing out the multi backbone required hops, hops, and even a few more hops. The result is a rich, layered, full-bodied beer bringing together a classically complex malt backbone with an assertive West Coast finish. 6.5, 4 dollars for a bottle per. What's the, what's the, 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 do we get a description for ingredients? Uh, no, they don't have the hops, hops, and malts. We got eight malts and hops, hops, and more Rabbit hops. legs. Yeah. For the hops. Well, hey, I... You know, so you know what, and that's what it tastes like. It tastes like multi hops. It's well blended. I I actually think this is a pretty decent beer. Well, it's, he, it's got a good head for a red. Too. Here's what it's, I'm looking you know at what, right it's, now. It's 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 red forming. It's red with balls. <laughs> Here's what I'm looking at right now. There's we're getting there you a lot more hoppy reds right now. We got a lot of people doing hoppy reds yeah. left and it, right. It tells you drink it, dumbass. Yeah, and good for them. I, I I'm really liking this bottle too. I actually enjoy this bottle. Extra red stands out good, but they've got this crest on there, the Ritual Brewing Company crest. In Soviet Russia, yeah, exactly. red extras <laughs> you. That's, what I, <laughs> that's exactly what I'm thinking. Hey, comrades, I'll drink this fuck up. <laughs> I, I like their bottles. They're, You'll they're, drink it because you don't have a choice. On their bottle, they actually put down what it plays well with for food. So it says, plays well with barbecue ribs, aged cheddar, fig bars, and 
camping troops trips. How's that delicious camping trip treating you? Oh, oh good. Dude. dear God, fucking awesome! Dear God, leave the leave the Cub Scouts alone. Go man. eat your Come brownie. On. No, no, oh, 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 dude, yeah, that go good oh. with a weed brownie. Oh fuck yes, man. I'm talking about. Him. Oh man, delicious. Uh, yeah, this was really mm-hmm, delicious. I, I, I'm I'm still mad that I, I think I burned off my tongue from all the hop uh, IPAs I've been drinking, but still, it's not a bad beer. Not a bad beer at all. I can't complain. I like no, reds. I'm, it's a good red. It's it's just so much balls for red. I didn't think it was red. Yeah, it, <laughs> we're, it no, really surprised. Hoppy me. reds are getting really popular right See, now. That, this is my first experience with this, so that kind of surprises me. The other beer at Wix, at Wix Brewing Company, another place from Riverside. They made two beers for Fallen Officers. One was a milk stout. The other one was a hoppy red. So hoppy reds are like the, the new in beer. So we're gonna see. A I, lot like more of that. Yeah, I, like I like it. I like it. I like it. West Coast has got to be hoppy. This is a yeah, red hoppy. I'll like, get behind. Oh my god! This is good. Another flavor, red. I enjoy this. Yeah. Wait, we can make something hoppy. That sounds good. We're on the West Coast. Beer number two. A lot darker than the last one. And of course, good head. And hey, what is it with tonight? We all have these beers that are getting decent head. Anytime I get good head, I'm good. The only bad head is no head. No, 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 braces. <sighs> yeah, here and there. I've had that, too. That's a little rough. Yeah. Teeth scraping <laughs> of any kind. Black and Decker pecker. Careful, record. bitch. I'm married. No teeth. <laughs> Done it. Dun so the it. beer. <laughs> Done it. Really? Done it. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. So the beer is black as shit while still being thin, so I wouldn't say oh, this yeah. is a stout. Are we going to go back to there a black lager There is no again. light in coming through this. This shit is as black as bees, salty chocolate balls. Black as bees. Yes, skin. Yes, ask Professor. Let's hope they don't taste the same. He put them in his mouth and sucked them. Oh, wow. That is a nice stout. That's a nice stout. A little thin for a stout. Yeah, it's a watery. It's not a stout. That's a watery. Not a stout. That is watery, not a buddy. I got a stout. Not a stout. I got black not lager again. I hope black not lager. It, it is thin, buddy. I mean, if you're going to go I don't stout, know. This is thin. kind of thick for a black lager. I think though. it's a stout. If it's a black, it's flat. Yeah, if it's yeah, this I'm off, I'm getting flat on this too. And if it is a stout, it's, oh, this is not it's, a stout. It's already disappointed. Not this a stout. Is not a stout. If they're putting not themselves in that category, then they yeah, they're this, calling them the stout. They're wrong. This if is, they are okay, look, this is like a beefy brown that's gone flat, or it's a weak black that's gone flat. Either way, it's not. It's not either appealing. Way, either way, it's tasteful. Well, flat. It yeah, gets it's that very head flat. Though. I'm I'm having a hard time separating any it's, sort of flavor. It's got a little. Yeah, it's, it's got this like it tries to have this little bite, but it's just it's just not enough. No, it's not I'm, enough. I'm it's like disappointed. someone filed his teeth down. It's sad. I like, it's like it. Fuck all you guys. It's like fighting a six year old. It's not bad. It's just not. <laughs> I <laughs> like it. It's, that's the only like, way you what? win. Yeah, yeah. Like, fuck what? <laughs> fuck that saying? kindergartner. <laughs> fuck him. <laughs> what the hell? The smell is fine. You get a little chocolate smell. It's fine. Uh, I'm, I'm not picking up taste on this. It is wafer thin. Oh, it is. It's This is thoroughly okay, if, if, it's, if it's not a stout, is it a porter? No. no. God, no. If, okay, again, I'm getting a little milkiness in if this, If it's too, a porter, it's but, weak. I'm just, what we're saying is, is it's, it's the only weak. thing that could make any sense is if it was a strong brown, and even that's flat. So whatever this is, it's, it's not that great. It's, I, it's trying to be something, and it's not hitting the mark. No. That's all I'm saying. It's I am tasting smooth chocolate, but it's 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 faint and it's oh, yeah, that's some, all I'm getting. There is some chocolate. I'm not getting any coffee. I'm not getting anything like that either. I would not say porter at all. It's not thick enough. It's not strong enough. It doesn't have the flavor power. Yeah, this this is thoroughly an impressive. I'm good enough. I'm strong enough. And gosh darn it, people like me. You know, not it's, this beer. There is range. Wait, wait. wait, there is a tinge of coffee. In the aftertaste, just yeah. a tinge. It's strange. only in the aftertaste. You can't taste it in the foretaste. You can't taste anything in the foretaste. It is. I can taste yeah. water. No, no, no. This the is sunny. This yeah. is a chugging beer. This is a beer you can chug all a night. Chug like a house. Yeah, and it, chugging it, it, beers it, 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 suck. Yeah, chugging I, beers I blow. Know, I love chugging beer. Okay. <laughs> I like tasting beer. For, right. for a beer that is flat, it, it keeps a decent head. I'm going to give it that. Let's get to this. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Where the fuck you guys getting flat Reveal at? Reveal the shit. It because just tastes... Just do it, yo. Because watery, plain, yes. flat. Watered down flavor. Fucking porter. Get the fuck out of here. Organic no, pioneer. Well, there you go. 
Uh, I know it wasn't. I thought it was a stout. What do you mean the bank's out of money? <laughs> that's not a stout. It's so, not a porter either. I don't care what they call shit. themselves. Those fucking hippies in their beer. You, okay. <laughs> hey, hey, wait. Shh. What's this company's name so I can kick their ass? <laughs> The adults talking. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Butte Creek Bre- Brewing. Oh, oh my God! Fuck. Are you shitting you me? That's, That's all you Butte gotta Creek? do. Shut, what a sh- shock! Sh- it's in up, the heart sh- of hippie country. <laughs> Butte Creek Brewing Organic Porter. Uh, there's a lot of here, but uh, it's what? a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think we've ever had any of you guys had this. This no, 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 no. Bre- I never had Butte no. Creek. And this is shit, though. I am so so pissed off. Organic that they call this pioneers. A okay, okay, here it is. Uh, I'll start here. We believe that porters of yesteryear would love our porter beer. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Just as much as drinkers of today do. Fuck you. <laughs> Butte Creek Organic Porter is brewed of organic pale wheat caramel and 120 chocolate malts around the organic New Zealand Pacific Gem Cascade and Halatel hops. To produce the finest beer possible. Fuck you. <laughs> Butte <laughs> Bu- Creek Organic Porter pours into the pint, dark brown, and almost black in color. That, that's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah, okay. yeah. Porters are, are honest ales. They taste like they look rich, dark, and chocolatey. Yes, not this they one. do. Not, not this. this one. <laughs> Go on. It tastes like <laughs> lies. Or have you given up already? <laughs> I'm not a quitter. Fuck you guys. <laughs> With not so subtle undertones of caramel and coffee. Fuck you. But unlike its dour, dusty look, flows through the mouth with a velvety smooth texture and finishes with a hint of hop crispness. Fuck you. Derived from the <laughs> traditional aroma of hops, coming at a 6.0 ABV, this powerful porter can be enjoyed with bangers and mash, a hearty meal, or even <laughs> bangers. <laughs> bangers. Or, or even paired with a fine. Yeah, dessert. it would have to be something disgusting this like bangers. Powerful and mash. pooper. Oh God! Give up, you B. guys! Just give up! Dicks. Just give up! This is absolute no, no. rubbish this, shit. What the what the fuck is this company called? It's an organic beer. It's called Butt Creek. Butt Creek. No, Butte Creek. Not the same but way it comes me. out. Butte. But, but, but with the but, but with the all right. Ass water. Is, they're the assholes. All right. Ass, 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 ass We're the pricks. Ass we're the river. pricks. Really. Ass, right. river. ass river. Really. <laughs> You know what? Your name got changed. <laughs> you little shitheads. We've renamed you That's Ass it. River. Your Ass River wait, wait, Butt Creek. Let me see the bottle. Let organic the bottle. porter <laughs> or pooper. What, 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 what do you think about the bottle? It doesn't matter what you think. <laughs> and this is the reason why we don't get advertising. Oh, it comes out your ass the same way it pours, all right? <laughs> dick. How dare the they call that a porter? God damn it. Oh, man. please. And this guy on the bottle is proud to hold that fucking uh, Reaper in. His in cock? Room. He's proud. He might as well be holding his cock. <laughs> probably dipped it in the beer. All right, all right. <laughs> Anything else? After he pissed in it. <laughs> no, good, actually. It's an organic so, pooper. So oh, right. better than night. <laughs> <laughs> good. I, hey, guys. Hey, guys. I wonder who won tonight. Hey, guys. I'm so upset. I already got forgot what the first fucking beer was. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Can someone shit. get that man? Dude, I don't give a shit what it was. I know it won. <laughs> Budweiser, you just want beer of the night. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, that's right. All right, so let's get to it. Let's so we it. had two beers tonight. The first beer was the Extra Red from Ritual Brewing Company. Wow. wonder which one won. And the second beer was the Butte Creek Organic Pooper. Order. <laughs> fuck Butt River. <laughs> Ass water. <laughs> Big Rob, what do you pick? It sure as hell was an ass water. So uh, I got to go with the other one, which I probably would have anyway, because it was a pretty decent beer. I was kind of impressed with it anyway. The The Ritual Extra Red was a pretty decent beer. I was already kind of impressed with it. And then we get a beer that anybody would have fucking beat because they Uh dared call themselves a porter when they goddamn weren't. They're shit-ass water. Fuck them. I'm done. Thank you for clarifying your hate. (laughs) Damon. Go go to the professor. (laughs) I'm a fan of Reds. So the Ritual Red, beautiful bottle, beautiful beer. Connects to this Tijuana wastewater. <laughs> and that's that's harsh, but I'm sorry, guys. Your pooper sucks, man. All right? Dude, they called <laughs> their beer ass, ass water. water. Sucks. All Porter, right? What, I say po- pooper, That's Porter, actually whatever. the name of their brewery. Six of one. Yeah, their brewery. I'm sorry. Their brewery's ass water. So not just this beer, <laughs> but all of them. I think we owe them a visit. <laughs> all right. All right. Damon? <laughs> okay, look. 
Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to actually I'm gonna try to be nice because <laughs> these guys are being a little harsh. Um, <laughs> water. They tried to make a porter, in all honesty, watered down, weak. Maybe it's because they did organic, but you know what? I've had organics that were good. You know what? So I've never I, had an organic so porter. Them. I've never had an. Well, I don't think I've ever had an organic porter. That's so, new. Uh, that's new. But guess what? Maybe you shouldn't try that, or you should leave it to someone who knows how to fucking do it. <laughs> that's just, being nice. <laughs> yeah, that's being nice. That's as nice as I can be. You know, okay? I, I agree with you. You know, it, it, it's a simple fact. Is the 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 what was it? The extra red, hands down. The extra yeah. red had some kick, had some flavor. They got with their point across. They blended it well. It didn't taste weak. It didn't taste like you know, you know, fifty percent beer, fifty percent sparklets. Like, fuck that, fuck that fucking ass water butt cr- river bullshit. You no know, offense to you guys, you tried, but guess what? Eh, Special Olympics try. I'm sorry. <laughs> As soon as the, the, the best, the, 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 the best, the best Butte Creek beer is like the, you know, the best Olympian at the Special Olympics. I'm sorry. Ouch. No, no, I'm definitely going ritual. Red. Hold on. Hold 100%. On. I, I apologize. I apologize. I go into hell for that statement. I actually like crippled ma- people. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I just fucked it's that too up. Late. Too late. It's too late. Your apology has got fucked there. up. My apology is even worse. Yeah, All right. much worse. Okay, guys. I'm offended at your apology. You should be. I'm offended by your face. <laughs> okay, guys. One, one second. One second. You can cut any of that out if you feel like. No, don't cut it out because I really, I really <laughs> want to talk about this. I mean, okay. we we all have a very visceral reaction to the Butte Creek, except for me. And oh. I just got finished finishing the professor's half, and his half didn't taste like mine. Because I fucking I, I spit really, it back I, out. You know, you know what? This I just I just <laughs> drank the last of my glass and it tasted better than the the shit I so, drank so, earlier. Something I think is not right about the beer. I, I don't know if it redo. Was, I, no, I, I don't know. We, we don't do redos. <laughs> we don't, if you if you, if you sell it, it should be perfect. You know what? For what it is. You know what? I think I have an idea what it is. It was it, this needed to be closer to room temperature to be decent. I, I, I'm thinking that something. I, I hate to say it. I hate to say it. Maybe we should have we should have let it warm a little before. Uh, no, no, I, I'm not going to give them any excuses for what it is. But it's still I, not no. that great. No, it's still no, not that. It, it was still a not that water, great. It, they called themselves a porter, and they were watery. It's still not that great, Fuck but them. it tasted way better at room temperature. No, watery. I don't give a shit. The watery no, it, porter. It was, they it lose. Was. It was, no, no, but no, it no, wasn't. No. It wasn't total trash when it was room temperature. But but yeah, the one I had from Professor and the one I had in my glass were two different flavors to me when I tried it. I, I'm not saying it's better than the extra red. There's no fucking way. The extra red was a great beer. Oh yeah, over and over again. Yeah, the maltiness but with the hops. I, I think there's something combo. wrong with the brewing process or the bottling process at this brewery. Don't blame it on tech. tech no, I, I know we're not no. supposed to blame it on technology, but guess what? That no, no. shit happens. Uh, I, They're I, watered I, down. Well, technicals. Don't blame it on the technicals. I'm not gonna blame it on technicals. We can try I, it again. We can try it again in the future. It's, it's hey, still not. A, it still wasn't the beer I'd recommend. All right, all right. The watered Butte, down. Butte Creek. Butte Creek. You may have earned yourself a redo. God damn it. No, we don't do redos. No, we've done them. We, we do have done them. Shows. We do redemption shows. I hate redemption shows. We might have to do a we redemption We all do, show. but you know what? Put it on the list, Hef. It gets a redemption show in the far off distant future. C- c- not I, I just think that some, uh, something was different between both our cups when, we were tra- when I tried to And that's them. enough to, to call it And that's why I'm thinking future. about it. Uh, it wasn't a great beer by any standard, though. It, no, it wasn't. But it, it, the, here it is. Extra red, much better beer. Ritual, much better beer. It could be a Butte, Cre- Butte Creeks in fucking Oregon. That beer could have been sitting on the shelf for like the past year or so. We don't know. A ritual is right down the street in fucking Redlands. That is no more than a 15, 20 minute drive from here. You know, we're, we're dealing with a whole bunch of fa- factors. And the closer the beer is to you, the better it's going to taste, honestly. Yeah. So I- I'm not giving you guys any excuses, nor am I giving you guys any uh, cop outs for what it is from you, Butte Creek. But how much did they pay you? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but but legit, we 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 want to be honest about what we taste. We want to be honest about what we feel, and w- as our opinions are, guys, we don't recommend you buying or drinking the Butte Creek Porter. There's plenty of better porters out there. There are better porters out there all day long. I just really think that this is something that we might need to do a redemption of or give them a second chance. Like, remember, Rob, that one you had that tasted sour? That was... Yeah, the, that, well, was that a, one was. That was something wrong oh, with the bottling no, process. Seriously. Yeah, it was. I, did, I did not like the first taste, but seriously, when it sat at room temperature, 
the taste improved like 150 percent. you know what it was, it was weird I, my mine sat and it did taste better but you know what they called themselves a motherfucking porter and that was not a goddamn porter yeah, there, was no, there was no there was no smoke there was there no, was a lot there was of no smoke there, there was, was no real of, coffee but, but taste. the fact there is there was it does, no oh i think it, i think it could get a better review if we re, if we do give it a redemption okay so for what it is, this show, the winner tonight is the Ritual Extra Red Ale. By far. And can I, can I say something real quick? So we haven't said it in a while, but, um, you know, uh, we, we try these, but don't let our opinions be the final vote for any of these beers. I mean, you may like this not a porter beer. Except from, for tonight, because we're right. <laughs> you, when it comes to the Butte Creek, you may like it. Don't take our word for it. Give the beers we review a shot and make up your own opinions. We taste it. You decide. We should always remind you guys that. I mean, we, we, we have opinions, but our opinions aren't law. I Beer mean, is too They are to ourselves. You know what? And, I and if people disagree with us, they can fuck off. But yeah, so our much. opinions are final. And, and I haven't said this in a while, but I am right. So if I give that opinion, <laughs> listen to it, follow it. It is law. The more you know, people. <laughs> and, of course, no one takes them seriously anyway. So yeah, Remember, beer is a subjective art. You know, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, I'm B from the Beer Snobs, and I'll see you at the bar. Later. I'll feed the same. Big Rob, peace out. Calling all beer snobs, I am B, and you just heard one of our shows. Guess what else you can do? You can find us on the interwebs at Twitter, Facebook, G+, and we're on the Stitcher Radio Network. Be our friend on our social networks and find out what we're up to and find interesting beer articles we're releasing. If you want to advertise with the beer snobs, you can contact us at marketing at thebeersnobs.com. If you want to give us beer suggestions, you can find us at info at thebeersnobs.com or any of the social networks you can reach us. And as always, I'll see you at the bar. 